we interrupt this video to bring you a public service announcement. An increasing number of photographers around the world are experiencing significant problems when printing from Lightroom to newer models of Canon printers. I'm pulling my hair out here, I don't know what's going on. I mean, I do what they say, you know, I calibrate my screen, I use paper profiles, but the print still comes out looking Good news just in though, the problem may not be down to user error. Now, when it comes to printing your images, there is nothing more frustrating than when what you print doesn't match what you have on the screen. Despite following exactly what people say about making sure to calibrate your screens and using paper profiles and then telling Lightroom to use that ICC profile, it still doesn't come out looking great. Now, anyone who knows me knows that I absolutely love printing. In fact, since COVID-19 arrived in early 2020, I've printed every single new picture that I've made. Nothing beats seeing your pictures in print. And as my friend Katrine Eisman says, the truth is revealed when the ink hits the paper. But what if I was to tell you that the reason things aren't working out isn't something that you're doing wrong? You're doing everything right, but something isn't right somewhere. In this video, we're going to fix that. Now, just to clarify, this is for folks who are using Lightroom and using Canon printers, specifically the newer models of Canon printers, like the one that I now have here, the Pro 300. Now, in this video, we're going to go through two specific things. The first one being to check that the printer itself is actually A-OK -okay and working fine. Once we know it is, then that will tell us that the problem lies somewhere within the software that we're using to print with. Now, what I have here is what's called an evaluation print. And this is an A4 document that is made up of lots of different pictures, colored squares, and gradients. And you can download a copy of this from a link I've included in the description below this video. But assuming you've set your printer up correctly, you've done your nozzle checks, you've done your nozzle alignment checks, we're now going to hand over complete control to the printer and its driver to print out this evaluation sheet which means no color management whatsoever outside of the printer and the driver. We're going to let the printer show us what it is capable of doing without any interference whatsoever. And we're going to do that from within Photoshop. Okay, so with the evaluation print open in Photoshop, we'll go to the file menu, come down to the bottom and choose print. And in the settings here, first of all, let's just scroll down here to make sure that the image fits onto the page. So we'll click on scale to fit media. And then at the top here, we're gonna make sure in the color handling, it says that the printer manages the colors. It might say Photoshop. We need to make sure it says printer manages colors. And then what we'll do is dive up to the top here. We can see the right printer is chosen. We'll go to the print settings. Just a couple of things in here to do. We'll click on this little menu here where it says color matching to make sure that it's the Canon printer driver that's doing everything. Here you can see it says Canon color matching, which is what we want. And we'll also come down to the quality and media. Now I'm using a Canon printer. I'm testing it out to see if it works fine. So I'm also gonna use a test sheet of Canon paper. And the one I'm using is this Photo Paper Pro Luster, which I can choose there. Print quality highest, everything else absolutely fine. So we'll click on save. And then all we'll do is just click on print. There you go. Okay, so now it's printed. Let's just grab that and check it. In fact, there you go. Perfect. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. So here straight away, we can see we've got fantastic colors across all of the images. The colored squares look absolutely exactly as they should be. The reds are red. The blues are blues. Really vibrant. The gradients we can see are really smooth. And really importantly, the skin tones across all the different uh, ethnicity, ethnicities there look absolutely perfect. And those strawberries. Mm -mm. Now, the fact that this looks so good tells us that the printer is absolutely fine. There is no problem with it at all. There is clearly a communication problem between the software that we're using for printing and the printer itself. Now, the software in my case is Lightroom. And I love using Lightroom. It's, it forms a huge part of my workflow. And it's all I've used for printing for a long time and got fantastic results. 
but that's not the case now with this Pro 300. You can see here in these images, the image on the left is been, has been printed using Lightroom and the colors are totally wrong. The biker's shirt should be red and black, not orange and black. The foliage looks more yellow. The image on the right though is absolutely perfect and that's done using Canon's own printing software. And we'll use that now. Now before we actually get to the Canon printing software, the first thing I'm gonna do is export this biker image from Lightroom at the size that I want to print it at. So I'm gonna to go to the file menu, choose export, and in my export dialog here, I've actually got one called for printing, which is gonna put it into a specific folder on my computer. But it's come down to the sizes here. As for the settings, I'm gonna say resize to fit, and we'll say on the longest edge, I want this to be, uh, let's go for 16 inches on the long edge. And we'll come down to here, output screen. This is gonna be for printing. It's gonna be on a, a glossy kind of paper. It's like an FB Pearl, it's called by Permajet. And we'll go for the standard print in there. And let's actually just rename it. So we'll go, let's bring up to here, rename, give it a custom name, and I'll just call it uh, Biker. And then click Export. So that now sends it from over into Lightroom. But regards to the actual Canon software itself, any of the, the software and things that I show you now, the links for those will all be included in the description below the video. But once you've downloaded the software, it's it just could not be any easier. So what we'll do is let's just open up that uh, Canon software. This is the interface, nice and simple. Over on the right hand side, we've got the settings. The center area here is where our image is gonna be. And in fact, first of all, let's just open up our image. So we'll go File and Open. And navigate to that folder there for printing. There's the biker image. That'll put it down to the bottom. And all I need to do now is just click and drag and drop it into space just there. So over on the right-hand side then, let's have a look at the uh, settings that we're going to use. Well, at the top here, it says the printer we're using. We're in the general settings area now, and it says media type. Now, here, because obviously this is Canon software, it's only going to list the Canon paper. But I... Uh, have for a long time used uh, printing paper by a company called Permajet. I love it, great quality, and it's also, you know, good, good, uh, good value for money. This is not a sponsored or paid for video. Now, if I'm going to be using one of their papers, and the one I'm actually going to be using is called FB Pearl 300. Obviously, here in the actual software, it's not going to list that particular paper. However, if you dive over to the Permajet website, if I just bring this up just here, what it actually has is it lists all their papers and then the corresponding paper, the one that's kind of similar to it, to give you the similar kind of results. So, uh, for example, if we just zoom in on this one just here, I'm going to be using this FB Pearl 300, this one here. So Permajet recommend that the equivalent paper that I use is going to be this one here, Photo Paper, Photo Paper Pro Platinum, that's for a Canon printer with eight or more inks. And that Pro 300 has got 10 inks in it. Now, the reason we choose a particular uh, media type is so that we're now telling the printer this is how, the, this is the characteristics, if you like, of the paper, how thick it is and how absorbent it is. And that's going to really help with the final printing process. But diving back over into the actual software then. So we're going to choose our Photo Paper Pro Platinum. We'll come down to the paper size. I'm going to be using an A3 Plus. Uh, we're going to go for highest quality. This is great. This one here, use contrast reproduction. If I put my cursor over it, you can see it says that this function restores the sharpness lost when data is transferred to the printer and reproduces the sharpness of the original image when printing. That can only be a good thing. Okay, so moving down, then getting to the really important part. If we come down all the way to the color management. Now here it says color mode. Now we've got a number of choices here. We're actually gonna be using the ICC profile. Now when it comes to the paper profiles, uh, before now when we've tested it, we've used a Canon bit of paper. So we used a Canon profile like, that's within the Canon driver. We're now using a different brand of paper with a Canon printer. So we need to use a profile so that the software and the printer know how to deal with it. They know how to mix the inks to get exactly the results that we want. This is where the profiles come in. Now, I like to profile stuff myself, and that's purely because I'm quite impatient. And when I've got a paper, I just want to print with it straight away. So I use this piece of equipment called an i1 Studio. 
made by a company called Calibrite. But you can also get your profiles directly from paper manufacturers. And Permajet do that. What you'll do is you'll go to their website. You can download their kind of calibration sheet. And what you do then is you print it out the way that they tell you to, post that off to them. And then maybe a day or two later, you get an email back with an ICC profile. That is what you would then use in this section. So here we're going to use the ICC profile. The printer profile, be it one that you've made or you've actually sent off for, this is where you would put that in. So you can see I've got this one here called Canon Pro 300 FB Pearl 300. Uh, we're going to use this uh, rendering intent here, relative colorimetric, great one to use, general purpose one to use, especially when there's skin tones in the image. And we're going to make sure this use black point compensation is turned on. That's a great one. That's usually on by default in Lightroom, but we're going to make sure it's turned on here because basically what that does is it's going to allow the software and the printer when there's varying tones or varying shades rather of black, it's going to kind of try to reproduce those. Whereas if it wasn't turned on, it would just kind of take the easy route and just print, you know, less tones, less variations of black and just print it. So that's going to give you the best result. And that's it. That's all there is to it. So now I'm just going to click print. Done. Right, this first time I've seen it printed. <laughs> Check it out. It's okay. That it's perfect. It's absolutely. Per I know I say perfect a lot, but it really, really is. You compare this to the one that I showed you before when I printed it from Lightroom. I really hope this shows up on the screen here. But the color, the contrast, the sharpness, the blacks, everything about that could not be better. Absolutely perfect. And I actually think the paper choice there works a treat. I'm really glad that's come out as good as it has because. The guy here, Steve, is an MMA fighter. So there you go. I hope that's been useful. But there really is no better feeling when you're doing printing to have that faith that when you do press that print button, what you get coming out of the printer looks great. And it matches what you see on that screen as well. Uh, I've mentioned in the video already that Permajet are not sponsoring this video at all. However, I did call and speak to them to get a bit of advice on a couple of things. And when I told them I was putting this video together, they've actually put together a couple of uh, discount codes. Now, the first one is Glyn15. If you go to the Permajet website, they'll give you 15% off any of the photo paper that you purchase. And the other code is Dewis22, which if you buy the Pro 300, which is the printer I've been using in this video, uh, if you buy that from them, they'll also throw in a 10-sheet uh, sample pack of various photo papers. So everyone's a winner, but that's that's all from me. And it's all from me. Now, if you've got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. If you've liked the video, give us a thumbs up. That's always a help. And if you haven't already, click on the subscribe button because that's a great free way that you can support this channel.